Hey, good morning YouTube. Um, I've just had the post arrive, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, video. As you can see, I've got a, a small array of parts here. What this is, is last week I ordered off uh, a site called Anvil Industries um, some bionic legs. Uh, this site, they do their own range of miniatures. Uh, they're very futuristic, uh, they blend well with uh, 40k quite well. So what I thought was for Iron Warriors and Iron Hands kind of players and anybody that wants to add bionics, this might be interesting for you. So they've recently released a customizable multi-part uh, leg set. So what we have here is on the left we have the parts something like 19 separate parts so as you can see at the top here we have I'll just use one of my brushes uh, we've got a couple of armour sections here um, to go around the legs that's the waist joint so if I pick this up actually got the waist joint here just let the camera focus so it's not too bad you know very basic very generic and thigh joint and the cabling on this uh, even on the site it tells you you know depending upon your position uh, trim the cabling down uh, as you see fit so as far as I can tell that's the side that goes into the hip joint and that's the side that's left out so if argument's sake there we go it goes in it just sits there and you got a little recess on the side there so that's pretty good um, so then we've got that and we have two choices of shin guard so one there and one there so one armoured up and one not best guess for me and that thing there you can see on the top just above my finger is the foot uh, the second choice for feet so there's those two so for those of you that have used the forge wheel uh, bionic set that foot is very similar so okay. so you know the uh, the four four prong bits there which is kind of handy the second choice sorry for all the close work here the second choice of feet as you can see, they actually look like feet. They go on like that. And you can actually position them whichever way you see fit. So I thought that was good. Uh, quite a lot of parts. A little bit fiddly. Um, and what I've done is what you can see here is I've actually put a set together in an alternate kneeling pose. So if you remember the 40k Games Workshop. Uh, kneeling set it's the left leg that's actually on the ground but with these I've actually tried best as I can this was done in about five minutes uh, as you can see the glue's still a little bit wet but it's probably more of a about to crouch or just getting up from a crouching position uh, with the bionic legs personally I think uh, the hip joint's a little bit narrow but that may be due to how I've position them so the hip joint's a little bit narrow but it's not too bad it all sticks together quite well and to be honest uh, a pack of these uh, I think it was about two quid two pound and you're probably better off splitting it between normal bodies you know adding a leg here or uh, you know a left leg here or a right leg there to an existing model, uh, they probably go better, and your uh, repositioning options are probably going to be a bit more varied. But like I say, they're beautifully sculpted. They're really nice to look at. They go together quite well. It's just a case of ball and socket jointing kind of things, and. The only downside is you don't get any instructions with them. Oh, excuse me. Try not to cough. 
you don't get any instructions to assemble these, which okay, it's not a problem. You know, I've worked with Forge World stuff before, and uh, those instructions are notorious for uh, ease of convenience, shall we say, tongue in cheek. So yeah, lack of instructions, not a problem. You know, get your pieces out, get the pieces out, have a look at them, uh, visualize what you want to do, dry fit. Can't stress that enough. Dry fit things together best you can, and stick it together. So, like I said, that was just a very quick show, show and tell of what I've got through. So, got one of those. I'm sure I could probably use that for something. <laughs> uh, they do a nice range of bionics, so I may slowly but surely get a bionic uh, warrior from. And the other thing on the right here. I digress, is if I zoom in a little bit, uh, some new heads. So, okay, your games workshop, you get a certain amount of heads with the kits, a certain amount of poses, so if you want a variety and a lot more character, you've got to go looking. And for me, Anvil Industries or Maxi Mini, uh, they've usually been the best places to go, personally, I mean, like Temple's Crusades, uh, he's got his own sites that he goes to, um, and another friend of mine, uh, Voodoo Orc, sorry it took a while to get there, and he'll probably kick me for taking so long, Voodoo Orc, he's, uh, he's got a few sites that he's been to inform me about, so, pretty cool, uh, he probably sculpts his own heads to be fair. So only a few places that you can go to get heads, but you know, uh, Puppets War was another one uh, that Hazard Syndrome's visited. And these are new, so I thought I'd share. So as we have here, we've got, this is the hair-headed range, um, whether it's down or out on the website. So we've got here is quite well sculpted face, you know, quite a fair bit of detail in there. Okay, he's got a goatee and a mop top, so very fantasy-ish kind of head there. So I probably wouldn't use that for a 40k miniature. Uh, unless I had good reason to. But it's a good head, it's well sculpted. And we've got another one. It's a little bit... Better. So as we see there... And my actual f facial recognition on my video camera is actually picking that up as a face. So, quite surprising. So that's that one. A bit of a windswept look on this guy. So it's pretty cool. And just a normal bear, uh, I say bear headed, unhelmed guy. Yeah. And like the sculpting for the hair is pretty detailed. Um, so there's that one. And then the last one is, bizarrely, a bald headed guy, but with a goatee. That I probably would use for a sergeant of some description. Bit of facial hair, it's not that you see it much on uh, 40k models. So, five heads there, they're probably about three quid, uh, three pounds. So, not too bad. Um, not a bad order, got a couple of sets of this and that. And you'll have to excuse the messy tabletop, I'm um, getting through building and painting still. So, there we go. Uh, Anvil Industries. Always releasing new stuff, uh, they're great for converting parts, and they're probably my go-to site, personally. Like I say, there's plenty out there, Puppets War being one of them, uh, Maxi Mini being another. Lots of bits there, I'm just repeating myself now, so it's usually a good time for me to wrap things up. So cheers for watching, hope this has been interesting to you. Uh, keep watching, keep subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.